So how's it going today guys? Back here with another video. Um, today we got <clears throat> a few things that we're going to talk about. We of course have the final cards for the cooking set that came out for Diamond Steph Curry and then the final cards for the fast break set. We've got Amy Clyde Drexler and Amy Draymond Green which is pretty dope. But there's just a few things man. One thing to kind of start things off here. I was under the impression that packs were going to stay at the same price, and I heard other people kind of speculate, oh, you know, packs going to go up, and I kind of thought to myself, well, no, you know, they'll just make it so that Amethyst are sub 2% or something like that, And but I was very, very wrong. Packs went up to that 21,000 MT price, and now the odds are the same as they were with, like, the Mirage packs, 11% 26%, so... I don't know, man. I wish they. I kind of wish they would give you like two options. I think that would be dope. You know, if you could get, if they kept the four thousand empty packs just with lowered odds. Because you know, I didn't really grind out a ton of empty. Because I was just thinking, all right, you know, I'll open up a ten box on Friday, whatever. But now, I, you know, I only have enough empty for like two packs. So I guess it will start off with that, man. We'll just see uh, if we can get like really lucky here with something. First pack, I'm gonna get an emerald to start things off. Emerald Jade and Ivy. And they are deluxe packs, man, so. You should be getting a cooking player every single time. Alright, man, yeah, let's do, let's do one more and then hopefully we can just get a ruby here. That's really what we need. Ruby or Amethyst. Another animal. Well, no. it's kind of an L, I would say. I would say again, you know, just definitely do not lock in for Steph. But if um, you know, there's some certain cards in Steph that you want, like Hakeem, I would just go and like buy him because I know that like, Hakeem's gonna be really good. And then, um, yeah, man, that's kind of what I would just do with the set. So that's what that's what we got going with the packs. Not really a ton of people are talking about that the price going up, but I think it's really rough. Like I think that that is. Super troll on 2K's part, going from 4,000 to 21,000 MT. Even if there is Amethyst available, I still don't think it's right, man. And then in the player market, we have got so cards from the 2K day set today went down in price. So, and then I think they're for one of the legendary path, yeah, for this first one, or not the D book set, uh, I think it was. One of the other legendary path sets, the uh, one for Lillard, I believe. The cards went down 5%. Now, I'm going to kind of give my two cents on this. I think that um, people are overreacting pretty heavily. Because, I mean, this is just one day. Like, this is the first day of um, the value of the cards going down. Like, they said, okay, you know, three weeks after cards come out, the value is going to start to depreciate. So, I mean, you know, could it depreciate a lot more next week? You know, we, we don't really know, so... Um, I think we kind of just got to let this kind of cycle out before getting too mad about it. I think a lot of people are, you know, really upset about um, cards values only going down by 5%. And then another, you know, thing about this too is if you, you have a bunch of these cards, like I know a lot of people, if they have them, they have them locked in, so it's whatever. But if you have a bunch of these cards, then, you know, the sell value doesn't go down. So, you know, if you're going to quick sell it, then the value doesn't really go down too much, just 5% there too, but... I think people are overreacting a little bit about that. I think that's kind of uh, just my thoughts on that. So yeah, Cook and Set, of course, locks in for Steph Curry. Whatever you do, do not lock that in, man. This fast break set locks in for Draymond Green. And Clyde Drexler is available today, so that's a dub, man. I mean, Draymond Green is really only good with Steph Curry, which is not surprising, man. Just another money grab move by 2K. And that's kind of uh, what we got going in the collections. And then I feel like there was one last thing that I was going to talk about. But um, now I can't really remember. Oh, yeah, in the challenges. So in these challenges right here, man, I just saw this and it, it really kind of upset me. Like, I'm not trying to be too negative about this because I know it's not a big deal. But, okay, so you had these two challenges this was uh, three-minute quarters, win the game by at least eight points for the level-up times. Uh, 
or the level up and showtime packs. And then the Mirage, I believe that this was three minutes as well. Well, it was six minutes, but you only had to make seven dunks and the game was over. So it should only take you like a quarter and a half or so, if that. And then this one right here, were these all triple threat? No, this was, yeah, make eight three-pointers to any player and then the game ends. But guess what they did for the cooking set today, man? Five minute quarters, you have to play the entire game and win the game and make 10 three-pointers as a team. Now, 10 three-pointers as a team, that's cool. Like, that's fine. But it should just be make 10 three-pointers as, as a team and then the game ends. But when you see that win the game and make 10 three-pointers, that is such a troll. Whenever you see that, it means you have to play out the whole game, which is so, I mean, just why? And then if you are going to make, you know, people play out the whole game, why not make it three minute quarters? Like, why does it need to be five minute quarters and then you have to play out the whole game? Like, I just, I really don't understand that. I don't understand who that benefits. And honestly, that's um, what I'm most upset about today. Like, a lot of people are really upset about, well, maybe the pack prices too. A lot of people are really upset about the value of cards, you know, barely going down. But I think, you know, the packs going up in price, that's a huge L. And then this challenge, like, I, I just don't understand why with the challenge. The packs, of course, I understand why. You know, it's because they, they're they going to make a lot more money if they increase uh, the price of them. So I understand that for sure. But, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's kind of just my thoughts on everything, man. Uh, sorry for not having, like, a full pack opening today because I, I just wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start, you know, kind of grinding out some MT here now, and then hopefully we can do some pack openings next week. I just didn't want to open up any of these cooking packs, um, you know, when it was just like emeralds and sapphires and, and rubies and stuff. I kind of wanted to wait for the amethyst to come. So that's why I didn't open, open them up during the week. But hopefully we just kind of go back to how the year started with like a Friday promo, like this cooking promo would be fine for a Friday, and then just go back to like... Uh, a separate set in the middle of the week. I kind of hope that they go back to that. But uh, yeah, man. Hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. If you're new, we will be doing giveaway at 500 subscribers. Please make sure to leave a like on the video, man. That is always much appreciated. I will have my shooting guard top five list coming out soon today. And uh, yeah, man. With all that being said, uh, I will see you guys in the next vid. E o.